Hi guys, this is probably episode two of me converting this little tipper truck or dumper truck to radio control. Uh, so I think it's episode two. Episode one, I fitted an electric motor and a nice big gear so we can go forwards and backwards. Now we want to do the steering. I'm going to have to cut away quite a bit of this here to allow for the movement of the wheels. And while I was looking for suitable bits and pieces, I found this toy grade steering from a previous toy, obviously. And this is the proper wheels for the truck. They well, they'd have to fit right out like that. They'd be right out of position if I was going to use that stub axle. So I've had an idea. That's the existing hub, hub uh, wheel <laughs> for the um, toy grade. I've taken the rubber tyre off it and then what I've been doing is heating up a flat piece of metal and carving out the centre of this wheel so that I'll be able to mount the original toy grade wheel inside so we'll have the right wheels but we'll have steering does mean I'm going to have to cut quite a bit, as I say, of the bodywork out so we can fit that in there. And even then, we're still going to have problems with it fouling front and back. But at least it means we'll have the toy grade wheels on it, or the, the original toy wheels on it. So it should look right. So that's what I'm doing. a bit of metal I'm using. I'm heating it up on our gas hob and then carving it out. Obviously there's a couple of safety issues here. Burning myself would be one issue and inhaling the fumes from the melting plastic could be another one. So I've got all the windows open and the door. Now I need to hack the bodywork around a bit so we can Get that in there, one way or the other. And that's the steering in place. I've just used double sided tape on the inside at the moment to hold the plastic uh, tyres, I suppose we could call them, onto the rims. So now we'll try one of those receiver boards again. That's the one I was using originally but I've actually managed to overheat it by trying to put too much power through it. So forwards and backwards works but left and right doesn't. So this is a, this is a new one that I've used on this little toy. So I'll desolder it from here and solder it up Put these connectors on it so we can use it on here and see if it's got enough power to drive that one. Well just for a change you can probably hear it's raining outside. Anyway we're all up together so forwards, backwards, right
left. The only thing is I haven't put an aerial on it, so we're a bit short on range. So, job done. I did cheat a bit because I hadn't intended to use a ready-made steering. But when I was looking at the wheels, it just seemed that much easier to do it that way. So, front steering out of a existing toy car, toy grade. Forwards and backwards, we have actually used the original axle and don't know, no idea where that motor came from, but it works. And then that's one of these 27 megahertz receivers from AliExpress and a small LiPo battery. Oh, I suppose we ought to do it with the transmitter as well. The only problem is I've wired it up, uh, I think forwards and backwards. Oh no, that's right. I... Just trying to think, yeah, that would be, that should be forwards and I've got it rigged up to backwards. no aerial on there either so range is very short oh yeah I got left and right the wrong way round as well Yeah, so it works. Oh, we went out of shot then, didn't we? Yeah, that'll do. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.